In this video, you will learn how to use the if and a formula in Excel. The if and a formula works when you have any error. So later we will learn what is if error and how it works and then what is the difference between if and a and if error formula in Excel. So if you are watching the video for the first time, then please subscribe our channel and let us know if you have any questions or suggestions in the comment section below. So let's start with the if and a formula in Excel. We'll start along with the VLOOKUP formula. So let's type the VLOOKUP formula first. VLOOKUP, I'm looking for Apple profit percentage. So if you want to learn about the VLOOKUP formula, you can check the video link in the description below. Also, if you want to learn in detail about the if-error formula, you can find also the video link in the description below. So in this case, I am getting NA error. So how I can overcome with the if NA formula? So here in the starting of the formula, I am going to type if NA, open the bracket, go to the end, comma, so value if NA. So here I am going to type not available. So not available. You can type any text and close the bracket. So here it is not available. So now in case you want to type any number, for example, I want to type zero, you can select zero and enter. In case of numbers, you don't need any double code. So now what is if error formula in Excel? If error formula is a similar way, but it is applicable to all errors. So for example, equal to we look up apple comma 4 comma 0 here i'm going to type if error go to the end comma 0 close the bracket similarly here in case of 0 you can type the text with double quote also you will get the text so now what is the difference between if and a formula and if error formula let's copy the same formula so here you can see this vlookup formula works or if and a formula works when you have any error in case you have some division error for example let's say so for example, you have division error, then if and a formula will not work. So in that case, you need to use the if and a formula. But, but why we should use the if and a formula? Why not if error formula? If and a formula having lot of advantages because if error formula gives any type of error. For example, let's try this. So any type of error you will get the solution it may be due to the formula error as well still it will give the same error but vlookup and if and a formula is helpful when you need only any error to be shown and not the other errors for example if i give the formula here formula name incorrectly then it will show as a name error not a value error so this is all about the difference between if and a formula and if error formula in excel if you have any questions or suggestions let me know in the comment section below and please subscribe our channel for more useful videos thanks for watching